Global homo eco homo tech sex signals crash. Oh no. Mail and pail is still say Disney thanking China for labor camping. Buffett backs out, sells three billion. Lockheed soaring stock civilian. UK immigrants to extreme. Do you have a permit to post that meme? Desperate, lonely Kotaku journo scam cheerleading little kid Fuko Google loses antitrust. Gotta be evil on they short bus. Ubisoft bought bots cheer for Star Wars bribing shills with gifts and boat tours. Stellar Blade scary Hogwarts bad. Says the type of man who wants to wear a pad. Sexual favors, wine and dine. Access integrity, go bye bye. Sony face down, ass up, slurp the rainbow. Even kids can see the taste of sales decline, fucko. Black Ops 6 on PS4? That's decade old hardware Activision score. Vocalizers get the boot. You're getting a Dell, dude, and laid off too. How come layoffs never seem to affect me, ho yo? Unrelated Concord, well, I guess we never know. <laughs> Hello, beta testers. Like and subscribe to join over 100,000 beta testers enjoying a renaissance in gaming. After over a decade of activism from people pretending in the gaming space, the dwindling relevance of games journalists are allowing developers to see and hear what gamers actually want, regardless of how hard some publishers and advertisers make damn sure that people's sentiment are nice and buried. However, Stellar Blades launch a delight exposing hypocrisy and Hogwarts legacy, demonstrating that you losers would want to boycott what for everyone else seemed to be the best selling game. These cocks would push for a tame, sanitized, inoffensive Grand Theft Auto, and I'm afraid we can't do that, games journalists. So then we have Ubisoft, flying influencers out to wine and dine them, honestly, slightly more classy than the sexual favors that the old hag activists would use to get favorable coverage or start their inclusion grifts, you know, whatever pays the bills. The good reviews that Ubisoft expects for Star Wars Outlaws after its under the table handjobs may not stop terrible optics. An ugly protagonist is something that at a glance some people will go, eh. <laughs> and if you can just get them to hesitate before they give you that money, maybe they'll look something up and by that time it'll have been too late. So, the industry might not have been in such a bad position had you asswipes not decided to agree with the cuck saying, oh, pretty women are bad, demonize them, you know what I mean? Jeez, I mean, funds up your ass to really bring things in line with that ESG is one thing, but you didn't have to go this far. The players are disgusted, repulsed, and apathetic towards your dog shit at a glance concord, but they will buy a skin in the first ascendant priced higher. And it'll collect the world's money just like miHoYo does because jiggle physics and pretty women are not the end of the world. Contrary to what the out of touch anti-hetero journalists try to desperately tell you in their endeavor to erase dead or alive likes. It would seem, despite their best efforts, gender could not be abolished. Sony isn't just in trouble after its all-in gamble with Bungie and Concord, the fart-huffing echo chamber studio proud of the Concord game that everyone's uninterested in. You have to wonder how much else is coming down those pipes that's destined to fail and instantly repulsive. This industry 
could never make Lara Croft the way she was today. Not without nose piercings and the shaved side of her head and dyed hair because that's what the fat fucking losers that you have in these studios have and god forbid they resist being able to self insert anything with their narcissist ass. They are triggered by a pretty woman so this bitch gotta be ugly in the video game too and they don't give a fuck if it sells or not because it's about the message and you shareholder investor just gonna I guess lose some damn money cause Sony is busy uh, sucking them balls tongue to tongue like, like Harry Cough now I'm a black guy that owned a pair of Jinko jeans at one point in my life so I don't know man I guess maybe I'm on the outside looking in but I can tell you something Japan is extremely aware and disgusted by the historical revisions that you guys are trying to pull off with your fanfic America Samurai Black Man story, desperately trying to meme it into existence and you know not everybody's interested in that black Cleopatra shit just because y'all look over at the UK and think man that's something to aspire to doesn't mean the rest of the world is on that bullshit. UK people are getting arrested for their mistaken assumption that they have free speech. Google's hilarious and historical attempts at hiding results and redirecting people's eyes specifically to what they want to see. I mean, we have handlers that do a better job of being subtle. Layoffs everywhere you can imagine and you think it's gonna stop now? This is just the appetizer. Cesspool publication Kotaku hires another racist and you gotta admire the consistency. Token dude is the type to rage for the machine talking unironically about toxic masculinity and intrinsic misogyny because of the domination by straight white men. Oh yeah, just like Anita Skankesian's friend, you gotta let the cult know I'm one of y'all, look, look how I talk, uh-huh. <laughs> Thank these lonely numbnut activists and give them a pity slap on the ass on the way out because I doubt even the door would want to touch them. Fucking one step closer every day to a new subscription service so you can pay them every time you open your front door or use the bathroom or want to open the fridge. Warner Brothers is teaming up with Fandango to be able to charge your kids 13 and up inside of Roblox for movie tickets. And as I said on Twitter, Roblox is one of the most popular gaming coal mines of our era. Rumor has it that Warner Brothers may want to sell some of its games, which would not come as a surprise considering they lost $200 million paying activists for the better half of a decade to make little kids and lesbian gender swaps that are weightlifted in their games instead of mature experiences. I'd say good job, but this is the opposite of that. And ironically, I guess some people get to do a bad job and then keep it. Wow, luxurious, but somehow we're the assholes depending on who you're listening to. The sensitivity consultation heavy games of this forced alphabet era will not be missed. Mecha Break's monetization may take the game to hell, but at the moment I'm really enjoying it. First Descendants monetization may take the game to hell, but at the moment I'm really enjoying it. Marvel Rivals just destroys you people. Doke V may never even come out, but I'm still excited about it. Azure Promelia, in my opinion, is going to be the next real bang bang in gaming, motherfucker. Maybe mixing elements of Pokemon, Genshin, and Animal Crossing. And GTA 6, for better or for worse, it gets to look across the landscape now and observe the shift that's happening. This is what I wanted. I couldn't have imagined I'd reach 100,000 with your help before it, but here we are. And gaming is fine, it's just correcting itself. A lot of the pussies that we observe, they treat the truth like it's some kind of demonic shit. They refuse to accept limitations and recognize that some people are better for certain tasks than others. These exposed nerves that they call their feelings are perpetually hurt and we're somehow to blame for not shielding them from the slight breeze that could ruin their life. But you and I, Beta Tester, we know that we can't go onto a roof and jump off without assistance and fly. Ooh, I'm about to make a name for myself here. Patron sponsors, everyone, I love you. Someone with big money, get onto that wish list on Amazon and buy me a new PC. Let's take it to the next level around here. Follow on Twitch and Twitter, links and cup sizes in the comments, and I 
I feel like the second wind thing could have another chapter, but it remains to be seen. See you in the next one. Peace.